Yeah, another day of unboxing again with me. A thing within the name of artwork. Uh, the nudity of these figurines is um, supposed to be acceptable. I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one is Figuma, The Birth of Venus by Botticelli um, And uh, this is, yeah, this one is produced by Fring Fring uh, always do the, let's just say, different good from what uh, Max Factory production of Figma Yeah Let's just open this up you can do cute poses. Uh, I think this is this series called Table Museum. Like you can do, there are lots of famous uh, historical artworks in this series. I have some of them, but I lost them. <laughs> like um, you know the Milo, Milo the Angel, Bar Milo from who? Is it? Venus de Milo, Venus de Milo, and Michelangelo from David, by David, this one, wow, okay, I think there are not, there are not a lot of, you know, itty bitty parts, there's this figure, and the uh, shell, and the hands and the uh, backdrop there are two layers of plastics for figures, main figures and the uh, backdrops let's get it off first um, I wonder what the material is here Be, I think it's a little oh it's framed ah oh, it's kind of thin it's like a just like carton carton paper and what's this why is it coming out why is it coming out i don't know i would say the i would say this it was made by like um like the Persona Backdrop from Nendoroids It's... I'm sorry <laughs> This will... It will be more... Um, steady Instead of... Also... Ugh, why is it like this? I'm not loving how frail this one is Read up the hands uh, and the manual. Mm. Mm. I'm smelling something good. Mm. I'm sniffing on it. <laughs> it does smell good. Like, uh, you know. Yeah, it does smell good. I'm sorry. It must seem inappropriate because just look at her, and I'm sniffing on her. It's crazy. Also, yeah. Oh my God, this one is fully nude. I don't know if my this video is might get flagged or not, but I wish it is not. Um, also, yeah. Uh, I think this one is. Very, very smooth. Like, <laughs> I'm trying not to touch it uh, a little more, but uh, yeah, this one is feels real, real good. Uh, the finishing is very different. You can, you can tell it's yeah, it it, it just feels real good. Uh, it's just like um the 
Reason and the right, the finishing is kind of like that. The rest of the sensor with that I have, and the younger shoulder. Yeah, and like, um, you know, let's say. I don't know, it's just. This one feels smoother, even this has uh, exposed skin, but this one is very smooth. Yeah. It also smells good. Uh, this also has great quality. It's plastic, but uh, quite uh, sturdy. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the backdrop. It's because this is kind of ugly, and I don't want to touch it. But let's just try it. Uh, what's the difference between the hair? Yeah. Oh, this one is like a uh, more straight uh, and this is more like a uh, curl it kind of like that to cover the <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean Some hands 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 I think, uh, Yeah Okay, I think I'm gonna study this study this and uh, let's see Let's pause Okay, there you go. For real, it takes some major labor to put the frame together like this. Even look at this <laughs> and this. I think they are they are even about to fall as I'm speaking. And also, I think the best thing to do with this is to um, glue them down together. This is the default pose. Let's proceed to other poster. So, <laughs> so I tried to do that uh, Titanic pose uh, where the lady posed for like uh, paint me like one of your French lady. Uh, so my comments about the Figma Table Museum series is, uh, I think, to really uh, replicate the uh, artwork itself which I think it is a fixed statue and to turn it into a action figure is kind of hindering especially for movement because uh, it is not as flexible as uh, other Figma like you can do this hands like um, I can't go there and uh, it also happened with the Venus de Milo and Michelangelo, 